previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! I don't even remember where we last left off. Oh, well, that's why it's showing this. Let's talk about ah. superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Oh yeah, she tried Stop. to kill herself. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for anyone. I forgot how Ms. much Carl, I really don't like the graphics of this game. Everything. Square Enix, you hey, failed for this one. I mean, the story, the, the game itself Rachel's is great, but the graphics the is so wearing Or maybe it's just right? me it because I'm playing this on a Max, PlayStation 3. I don't Rachel know. Soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want. And oh yeah, we broke into the principal's Max, office. You better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. And we found oh, out that uh, That's what's his face? That that douche nozzle Listen, was fucking crazy. As we already friend. knew, but we found out he actually is crazy. More than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Oh yeah, Rachel she was sleeping with Frank. Face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Oh yeah, then we went back in time and then that you know terrible like thing we discovered about Chloe. When you're a kid. Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Not so much. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. Oh yeah, and the fucking whales. Why were there whales dead on the beach? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Okay, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, God. I've been back in the U.S. for, like, almost three months now, and I haven't had the motivation to play this game. And I finally got the motivation because I just downloaded and installed the fourth and fifth episode. So I'm like, you know what? What better time to play these games but the present? So I'm playing them. Here I am. And I'm so excited. Can't wait to be back in the loop. So many people have been talking about like the ending. Like I haven't heard any spoilers, but so many people have been saying random things. And so I'm happy to finally play it myself. And what is happening? Oh, it's a beach. God, I couldn't really figure out what that was. I could, but I couldn't. Bike. Did we bike down to the beach or something? Oh, why is there dead whales? I don't like this. This, this is not what I like at all. And no one's trying to clean them up. I mean, I get it's hard because they're whales, but you're just gonna leave them there? What if like some family goes down to the beach and they'll just take a stroll? Oh, you know, la la la, there's a bunch of dead whales. Episode four, Dark Room. Oh, yeah, she's disabled. What the hell happened? She must have gotten like a car wreck rather than her dad getting in a car accident. Just walking in silence. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. 
I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. You know shit, they're sad. They're no dead. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh, I'm not gonna blame William. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Jesus. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh yeah, I wonder if her and Rachel... You mean Rachel friends. Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Oh, so they're not friends this in this reality. Such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? My nose is getting it's cold. It's hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. No offense. What? That's the word she always Wait. used. God, she's such a different person. I kind of prefer the other reality. Even though she's really depressed and her life is a wreck, at least she's, you know, alive. I mean, she's kind of still disabled in the other reality. Just mentally. Not so much physically. So yeah, basically, like I said before, the reason why I haven't been playing this game is just because I haven't been motivated to, simply because everybody's been talking about it, and I'm one of those people, when everyone's hyped up about something, I'm gonna wait till the hype dies down to actually look into it myself. <laughs> At least she's not married to that scumbag, David, or whatever the hell his name is. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech. Oh, cell. this is her room. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. <laughs> Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. 
I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? I need to get my drink on? <laughs> I'm actually playing now! Yay, it feels so nice to control everything. Alright. I'm gonna examine stuff in every room because the last couple episodes a bunch of people bitched at me because I didn't examine every single little thing everybody plays games differently guys so shut up what's this snow globes are taking over she clearly likes snow globes oh the snow dough I guess not everything changed teddy bear hello Chloe she likes fluffy animals now. <laughs> lamp. I love lamp. That's a serious heat lamp. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Oh, it's so depressing. I would end my life. Not, I don't even want to think about it. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Huh. I'd rather be overweight than handicapped. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Oh, before I give her her drink. That must be her mighty morphine machine. I want to look at everything first. No more bongs for her. <laughs> There's the old Chloe. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I, I should have kept more in touch. Makeup? I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. I'd be able to put makeup on her. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. <laughs> you can do more than just browse cat videos. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. What? Can I flip it? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Calford. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Thinking of you. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I am here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Whoever that is. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. <laughs> yeah, she probably was like, great, you're living your life, and I'm here. Glad to see her as nosy as ever. <laughs> I don't want to disappoint you. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Anything else to exam- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, I already did. Let's use the computer. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. Oh, cool. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room. <laughs> oh, welcome to Hot Wheels chat room. Wait, isn't that a a game? Something is it Hot Wheels? Happy Wheels. That's what I'm thinking of. For your safety, do not give any personal information to any person in this chat room. You are responsible for knowing the chat room rules. So what are you doing? Talking with you. Haha. Ha, no shit. I am about to binge on Quantum Leap. OMG. Love Scott. But Bakula rules. So do you. I hope we can meet soon. 
Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bekula. You better. Hello? Ah, I see. Okay, let's help her get her water on. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? It's not your fault. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Aww. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. <laughs> no way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Oh, no. Did that sound bad? I'll just say which friends. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. <laughs> they always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. Medical bills bet. are fucking awful. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Uh huh. She well, did have blue her. hair. Let's dye her hair blue. Let's give her a makeover. Me, always do when we watch movies. But I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay. Where you wait? Use this for what? Thanks. I, I think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know that <laughs> butterfly thing? <laughs> so I've heard. Let's put her bracelet on her. Or can we not do that? I want to put makeup on you. You'd love it. I'd make you look epic. Nothing but medical supplies. Oh, I'm looking for the movie, I take it. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. What? What does lotion have to do with anything? I'm not a medical person. So, if you know, don't yell at me because I don't know. The room sure looks different now, huh? It does, but it's This still isn't you. your room, though. This is the garage. 
Your room is upstairs. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power? Oh gosh, mixtapes. So 90s. But they were on like cassette tapes, so they weren't on discs, I don't think. Uh, here's the DVD. But I don't know. I was born in the 90s, so don't really know much about the actual lifestyle of the 90s. I was born in 1997, which makes me 18 years old. Oh shit. I'm a boss. Same age as Max. It just looks like they're watching strobe lights. This movie is so entertaining, oh my god. Okay, good. I was like, I really don't want to have to sit here and watch the whole movie with them. Uh, I wonder if we're going to end up like going back in time. Rachel Amber is still missing, but I don't know how things are other than that. Did we end up spending the night? Oh. She's still awake. Or did she just wake up? <coughs> I cannot believe we fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. 